Hey guys, Merrick here with Movement Real Estate Group and we are gonna do the market report for October 2021. A little late into the month, sorry, month got away from us, but wanted to get some stats to you, so let's jump in. I'm gonna try and go through prices as quickly as I can and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the inventory shortage and what I think this means for us moving forward. Okay, let's jump right in. So, um, sales in Abbotsford, um, we're looking at 238, uh, that's up 26%. You know, or from our 10 year average, we've been sit, sit around 183. So um, sales are up and inventory is down, and we'll talk about that in a sec. So, uh, Surrey, year over year. So, this is just uh, detached houses, so you can get an idea of what the market's doing. But we're going to go through just the detached houses in the different areas and how much they've gone up since January. So, Surrey's risen 24% since January. It was at 1.14, now it's at 1.41. Eight, so huge jump, 24% in, uh, what is it, 10 months since January, so real, real big increase. Actually, these would be September to September's numbers. So uh, White Rock, uh, detached house sitting at 1.399, up 18% this year. Uh, city of Langley, so not Langley Township, but the City of Langley is at 1.241, uh, and that's up 23%. It was at just over a million in January. Uh, Township of Langley, big jump up here, one, 0.422, so that's the whole township surrounding the city. And that's up 22% this year, 1.163. 1 uh, so uh, moving up to Pitt Meadows, you're sitting at 1.212, up 19% uh, from January. Uh, Maple Ridge, 1.149, that's up 23% uh, from January. Mission, sitting around 968, for that's the HPI price on residential detached. And that's up 21% since January. Uh, Abbotsford, unbelievable jump this year. It's sitting at 1.72 for residential detached in Abbotsford. And uh, that is up 26.45% since January. So these are just insane jumps in prices. Uh, Chilliwack sitting at 883 for residential detached. And uh, that's the HPI. And that's up 15%. Uh, since January, so not as big of a jump in Chilliwack, and I'll put all the numbers up here so you can see this now. So you can see there's really, really a big jump uh, towards Abbotsford, Langley, um, Township of Langley. That's you know big jumps up. Surrey, 24% is massive. So I mean, again, this is really coming down to what we'll talk about now is inventory. So inventory shortage across the board. Uh, you know they've been talking about 40-year low. What does that mean? So if you look at the arc of uh, listings. So this is active listings. This is again, Fraser Valley Real Estate Board, just houses. I just wanted to get a snippet of the market. I'm not going through townhouses and, and uh, condos. I'm just wanting to look at the houses just to give you an idea of what the market's doing. Obviously townhouses and condos follow whatever trend houses are doing. So this is very, very similar if I had the other stuff in there, but Let's, let's move on. Okay, so you can see the natural arc towards the middle of the year, summer, you're gonna get the most amount of inventory on the market, and then it falls off towards January, again and again and again, and you can see that downward trend of less and less and less inventory. If we back out a little bit more, you can see towards, uh, in July of 20, uh, 2008, there were 6,000 units on the market. Those are just houses, and that's just in the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board. And then at a low point in December, uh, 2020 we had 1300 so you know you can see that the market's gonna have a 4500 uh, unit swing you know 5,000 unit swing roughly uh, which is which is huge and remember that was 2008 so that was the, the recession so that's when there was a seller's market you know a lot of people were in trouble uh, that was the most sales you were gonna see in our market because of the way our market is uh, so now we are, you know, obviously a decrease of 77%. Now I'm cherry picking, but let's get into uh, the numbers here a little bit in a, a little bit more of an even way. So we're looking at residential detaches in the month of September, and we're we're looking uh, at five-year increments. And then uh, obviously we don't have five-year increments the last two, but uh, these are the averages. Okay, so I've added up all of the Septembers divided by the amount of months that were in each category, and this is what you get: 4,012. 4166, 3234, and then 2202. You can see the trend. It is not a good trend. We are getting less and less and less inventory. If you look at the averages of the months, we're down 46% from the averages of the 4,000. So we don't have a lot of inventory. It's a massive, massive issue. People keep saying to me, Merrick, 
it's a bubble, we're, gonna, we're in a bubble, the bubble's gonna burst, and then I'm gonna buy in when the bubble's down. If we have no inventory, there's likely not a bubble, okay? We, we don't have a cavalry coming, we don't have a ton of uh, development starting and stuff like that. A lot of people held off because of COVID, a lot of the builders held off or canceled, even canceled uh, projects that were upcoming. They put them on the back burner for a couple of years and they're gonna wait and see what happens. Obviously with the cost of wood, wood construction, uh, glass, houses, everything like that went up like crazy. So people are uh, apprehensive to build. This is a major issue in our market. Major, major issue, okay? Supply and demand, I sound like a broken record and I apologize. Supply and demand is always what you need to look at, okay? Supply is low. Population is getting higher. People are moving to Vancouver. The market does not care if you can afford to buy in the city that you grew up in. Doesn't care. Okay, people are moving to our area from all over Canada, from all over the world. Place, uh, jobs like Amazon, Microsoft, uh, big companies are coming into Vancouver, bringing in uh, high income, uh, quality people buying and pushing people farther and farther and farther out. That's what happens. That is literally what happens in, in world-class cities. We've got one of the most beautiful places to live. People all over the world wanna live here. They wanna live in Vancouver, which pushes people into Burnaby, into Surrey, in a Langley, in yeah, Abbotsford. This is just the natural progression of what happens and you can see the wave of prices moving up as I've shown you, you know, that's what's happening. So it's not gonna stop. We don't have any more inventory coming. We're at a shortage of inventory. Cities are scrambling to get density. They're, they're, they're way too slow in my opinion. All cities, all municipalities are way too slow in appro the approval process. It's an absolute joke. And there's really, because of the ALR in the Fraser Valley, we don't have land to build on. We don't have developable land to build on. So. Um, we're in a bit of a pickle. Uh, do I see it letting up? We may see interest rates ra uh, raise in spring, which would slow the market a little bit, but that doesn't take away the lack of inventory. There's still lots of people who are qualified people, qualified buyers, who if their interest rate goes up to three to 4%, wouldn't, they would still be ready to buy. So uh, it, I don't think it'll go that high, the interest rate, but my point is that the interest rate coming up is not going to save us okay the issue and the issue has been and always has been in bc a lack of supply okay as long as there's low supply high demand prices are going to rise so if you're looking at this thinking that the bubble is going to burst get into the market if you can't afford to buy what you want buy a, a condo and rent it out do something get on that escalator because prices are going to keep rising i mean seeing a 26 percent increase in one year this should be the most mind-boggling thing that we you've ever seen in your life and unfortunately it's becoming commonplace in the Fraser Valley so uh, you look at other markets you know if you went down into Tennessee Carolina you went into Saskatchewan they're not seeing this level of growth you're seeing 5% 11% trickling up but 26% and it was you know 50% the year before that like it's insane so it's I don't think the prices will keep rising at this level but again there's just no inventory. So homes are gonna sell for whatever people are willing to pay for them. Obviously, that's the way the market works. And uh, you know, I'm seeing houses and condos and stuff like that uh, that I'm working on with buyers going for 150,000 over asking right now. This is happening right now in Langley and Abbotsford. It's, uh, we don't like it. For real estate agents don't like it, guys. You know, people think we're the bad guys here. We hate it. We will, every single, talk to any agent, they're gonna want a balanced market. and. Uh, that's what hopefully we can get back to at some point, but we need to do that with uh, building more homes and not trying to choke down the buyer's ability to buy. So anyways, that's my rant for the day. I apologize for going long, but that needed to be said. We have 46% down on inventory for the month of uh, September, which we review in October. So we are low in inventory, low, low, low in inventory. Buyers, the buyers, you saw the numbers, there's you know, more, more buyers right now than the, uh, the 10 year average, more sales rather. So this is a recipe for prices to rise. And until that changes, they're gonna keep rising guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in, sorry it was so long. I'm Merrick with the Movement Report. Please reach out if you have any questions uh, from the uh, Movement Group. Uh, we're based out of the Fraser Valley and we work all the way across the Fraser Valley. So if you have any questions, please give us a shout. We're happy to help. Thanks for your time.